back to the channel. Welcome back to another video. If you have not been here before, please be sure to go down below, hit that subscribe button for me, and smash a like on this video. I'm trying to get to 10,000 subscribers. That way we can keep doing cool stuff for you guys and keep updating our 1997 OBS Chevy build. Today we are working with the wife's car, 2006 Mustang GT, and uh, we've got a couple of new goodies for it. Um, the previous owner on this car kind of tore up the front bumper just a little bit um, underneath. There's a couple of scrapes and, and some torn up plastic and stuff. So we've got a new bumper that's been in the truck for a while, and we've got the Cervini's hood that just came in uh, last week, and what we're going to do today is we're going to get this thing uh, fitted up on the car and make sure everything it looks good uh, before we send it off to get painted. And what I just want to do is I want to make sure everything lines up and everything fits 100% before uh, having everything painted and then figuring out later that uh, it doesn't fit. Like I said, this is my wife's build and obviously I'm going to have a little bit of an influence on what she's doing with the car and just going to help her out you know, a little bit here and there uh, with what she wants. But she's picking out the design. She's designing her car. She's making it look the way that she has always seen it. Here is an extremely rough fit of the new hood. I uh, we went with the GT500 KR style or Super Snake style hood uh, from Cervini. It's all fiberglass. Comes just white like this. It's ready to paint. Uh, of course, we're going to get it paint matched to the car, and uh, and I'll probably change the stripes up a little bit. So once everything is said and done, the bumper will be just straight red. Hood will be straight red, and the only stripes that'll be left over will be on the on the roof and on the deck lid and spoiler. I would say this hood is going to look very nice on this car. You like it? It'll need some minor adjustments once everything is fully bolted on. I just wanted to make sure there wasn't going to be any crazy gaps or anything, but it's really nice and close to stock. Okay, other hood is back on the car. Uh, this one we're ready to take it to my painter. Um, we'll probably have this all in one video, so we have the hood looking like this right now, and I'm going to wait until all that's finished up, and then we're just going to... And then... then <laughs> And then through the magic of YouTube, we're just going to snap our fingers and the hood is going to be painted. So I will see you guys when we're ready to put everything back on the car. All right, what we've got going on here, the Mustang bumper is magically back from paint and it's all painted and ready to roll. Uh, the hood is just about finished. There's a couple of little spots to add some dirt and some bugs in it uh, that'll have to be sanded out and probably re-cleared. But we've got the bumper here. Looks absolutely amazing. And as you see, we've got the center fog light grill uh, ready to go. Pull the front bumper cover off and the grill comes out with it. Uh, so we got to pull that off. And the way to do that is to unbolt these two upper pieces after you remove the radiator shroud cover. Take out the three screws that hold it on here, and then there's two bolts on the back side of the inside of the fender liner. Take those off, and then the bumper actually slides down and just pulls off of the front to go ahead and just swap everything over to the new bumper cover and get that put on. Uh, we're going to actually remove the white vinyl stripes from the rest of the car, uh, which will be the deck lid, spoiler, and the roof, and actually replace that with black Super Snake style stripes. Uh, which should probably be the same width, but just one one piece stripe black and then the two little black pinstripes. Now this is something that we've been wanting to do to this car specifically for a while and uh, it's, just, it's just time to do it. It's time to change it up and it's time to make the car better, make the car look and perform better and it's just, it's going to be fun. It's exciting to be able to take it on, and video it and put it on YouTube and share it with everybody else just in case other people want to do something similar uh, to their car and it's just cool to have two separate builds going on on the channel and I cannot wait to get into some performance and suspension stuff on this car. It's like legitimately five or six hundred degrees outside plus being in the garage definitely does not help. One of these days the ultimate goal is to have like a heated and air conditioned shop to work in but we have the front bumper finally off of the Mustang. This is exactly the reason why we just decided to go ahead and replace it. I mean, it's scuffed up, it's scratched up, it's really torn up down here from the previous owner. And now it's time to go ahead and just convert this grill, which is in one piece from the way it looks. So if I don't break it, taking it out, I'll be able to put that grill into that new bumper 
and then put the turn signal lights into the new bumper and of course convert the fog lights over to the new center grill style uh, fog light holder grill thing. Hood is just about done. I'll be ready to pick up the hood this weekend. I will have to reroute the uh, windshield washer nozzles because the new hood does not have the squirters. There was an option to where you could add these to the new hood, but uh, they don't look good. So I'm just going to probably use the kit or whatever it has you use and move them up to the windshield wiper arms to clean up a lot of this junky, janky wiring uh, that I did a long time ago and get that all fixed up. So I need to go through and splice and actually solder the connections, add some heat shrink, all that fun stuff, and uh, make it legitimate. Something else I just, uh, I just realized, this bumper has been repaired before. There's a lot of fiberglass patches. So this bumper has actually been repaired at one point during the time that the previous owner had the car. And from the looks of it, it might actually be an aftermarket replacement bumper. All right, more updates on the Mustang. I finished rewiring the uh, all the halos, and I also added the switchbacks and wired in the resistors for the switchbacks. Cleaned everything up. So we are ready to try to attempt to get the bumper put back in uh, on the car and get everything mounted back up. And I also picked up a little pint of uh, the D3 red, which is the torch red that everything else was painted with. That way we can go and get our airbrush and figure out how to fix the chip that we made on the bumper. Okay, a couple more things uh, arrived for the car. We've got the whole front end pretty much buttoned up and put together. And we just got in these side scoops that are gonna go on there like so. As well as a chin spoiler for the front. We're gonna install these scoops. Should be pretty quick and uh, easy to give you this 3M pre-cut tape and everything and all the alcohol prep wipes and all the adhesive wipes and stuff to go ahead and just clean off the sides of your car and then you just stick them on there. Super, super simple. All right, and just like that, we have one of the side brake scoops installed on the car. So here's this side. Like I said, installs very, very simple. You put your tape on, you match it up with your upper and then your lower body line here and then it just goes right between those and you just stick it on there so everything works as it's supposed to door isn't it's not in the way so you want to make sure you obviously don't get it between the door and the in the rear quarter so yeah that's looking really good i love the uh I love the, the depth, I guess, the wideness that it gets it compared to uh, the other side of the car, which we do not have the scoop on yet. And simple as that, we've got both side scoops on the car, and they bring a little bit more definition, like I said, to the, to the body of the car, and just add that little extra flare. It's kind of gotten to the point, I haven't driven this car in a long time and uh, finally got everything put back together everything wrapped up on the front end of the car today and you know took it for a nice little drive and i definitely i will say i do miss driving a fast car i probably will one day end up adding another one to the stable to the fleet whatever you want to call it but i do think that today is a proper day for a mustang cold start uh that car hasn't been started probably for a week and it's been like in the 30s all week so uh, it's 50 degrees today so we'll see how she wants to fire up sometimes this remote start gives me a couple of issues that wants to fire way too fast so we'll see Just had a fresh oil change last weekend, so it'll be nice to get it out and drive it today. But I don't know. I don't think it's loud enough. It's loud ish right now, but really not as loud as I think it should be. Oh, yeah.
really think this car needs a Corsa exhaust. So Corsa, if you happen to be watching this and you want to help out my small, less than 10,000 subscriber channel, hit me up with a Corsa exhaust. This is, this is the look. This is the Eleanor style uh, louver. So basically what we're gonna do is we're gonna take these supplied um, 3M tape strips and we're going to attach those to the back side of the louver. Come over here. We're going to heat gun this. We should be able to heat gun this and the adhesive should release. Uh, I believe this one just stuck to the actual glass. I mean, this adhesive has been on here who knows how long. Um, but there's that. I mean, all, it's, all it is is just, you know, 3M tape that's stuck to these things and sticks it onto the window. So we're going to go ahead and clean this off with uh, eraser wheel. The old louvers are off. The area is cleaned. Uh, all the sticky stuff's gone. I already prepped it with an alcohol wipe. Little 3M strips to where you put everything where it belongs. So you peel that off and then stick it to the window. And then we get your after. Stuck it on there. And they look good. They really do. Especially paired with that little brake scoop. Just a nice, uh, it's a nice little look. Brings a little bit more body to the car. Yeah, it just looks good. I like it a much, much better uh, than the other louvers that were on there. And we got the double den system all hooked up and everything works 100% with that. No problems there. Need to get the stripes done and I'm not gonna tell you exactly how the stripes are gonna be. It's not gonna be the same as what the white stripes are. Uh, it's gonna look a little bit different. I think it's gonna look pretty good um, if it turns out the way that I'm thinking. There's multiple tent shops in Springfield, but if you guys uh, watch my videos at all, you know, there's only one place that I go, that's Show Me Tent. And if you're local to Springfield, I'm sure you heard of it. If you're not local to Springfield and you need somewhere to tent your windows, get your vinyl wrap, stuff like that, uh, Show Me Tent's definitely the place to go. All right, there she is. Probably take all day, but should look 100% different when it's back. Hiding from the camera. Are you excited about your car? <laughs> you can't tell because you hit yourself. Here she is. I know it's dark, you guys probably can't see too much, but hopefully you guys saw it in those other clips when it was in the shop. But this is the Super Snake style uh, stripe. This is what they did on the Shelby Super Snakes. And what's really cool, and we did not plan this at all, is it's the same width as the fog lights. So that's actually kind of a little, you know, cool little deal. But now we've got it over the roof and we've got it down the trunk, all the way down the bottom side of the bumper but it looks so much better, completely, completely different car. I think she's happy with it, what do you say? Oh yeah. Can't wait to see this thing in the sunlight tomorrow, huh? Oh, yeah. yeah, she looks good. So, gonna go get her home. I came over here to shoot some pictures with my uh, my big camera, and man, I just, you just got to appreciate the lighting here, just making this thing really, really stand out. And it looks good, man, like, that's a good choice. I love that stripe. That stripe really makes the car, I think. Eleanor style grill with the center fog lights. You got the Eleanor style scoops. Super Snake style stripe. Man, that just really, really brought this car together. One of these days, I might be able to talk her into possibly like a pro charger or a supercharger. Uh, there's a lot in store for this this car and uh, you know, I know like I know that uh, that you guys aren't huge fans of seeing Mustang content on the channel, but we are in full progress on the build for this Mustang, and it's probably going to show up on the channel a little bit more. So hopefully, you guys enjoyed that little build video um, from clips from months and months ago, all the way up until December, 
and uh, enjoyed the progress of the car. It's come a long way. Really learning about the world of, of cars, performance cars, muscle cars, whatever, and it's gonna add up. But it should be really cool, should be fun. It should open up a little bit more of opportunity on this channel, and uh, we, uh, we definitely need a bigger space in order to do this stuff. We are looking for 10,000 subscribers so I can give away a set of Boost Auto Parts tow mirrors to one of you guys. And we will see you guys in the next video. Take care.